Well, this is fun. I literally just finished work working from home. And I just decided to film this haul video. Um, I, yes, did another haul kind of by accident. I went into Walmart looking for, like, one thing, which I didn't even end up getting. And I picked up some other things. And then I went to some other stores that were, like, in the same area as Walmart. And I ended up just getting a few things at Old Navy and Walmart. So I'm going to show these to you. These... Um, for my purposes, I'm probably going to save them till next year for Operation Christmas Child. Unless, I might donate some of the things locally, like for Christmas drives or something. Anyway, if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. My name's Katie. Make sure you click the subscribe button. It literally takes like a second. And I am going to start off showing you what I got at Walmart. So my last Walmart haul video had some of these backpacks. Well, I went to a different Walmart, and they had these ones, and they were a different design. They were also $1, same size as the other ones and everything, so I grabbed five of these. So now I have 10 backpacks. Um, I'll save some of them for shoeboxes next year. Honestly, these are good, I think, for 2 to 4 and 5 to 9. So even if I have 10 of them, that's okay, and maybe I'll donate some locally um, at the start of school next year. I also got some of these plastic sippy cups. I used some of these last year and then I forgot, I guess, about them this year, so I didn't include any in my boxes. But I do like these for the two to four, so I picked up three of those. Here's the other two. Um, then I just grabbed another thing of pencils really quick. 24 pencils for a dollar, which is not as good of a deal as I got the other day. But it is still a good deal and I'm just like stocking up on my pencils. I'll probably have enough for like all of my boxes for next year. Then I was excited to find that these Lego sets, they were $2.50. So I grabbed two of them. I didn't want to grab all of them that were there, but I decided even if I don't use these for shoe boxes next year, I can donate locally this year. Now, as far as fitting this in a shoebox, I did make a video once, it's like not super awesome quality, I might have to redo it, about how to fit an entire Lego kit in a shoebox. And basically, you just take out all the Legos, put them in a plastic baggie, and then if it comes with an instruction kit inside of here, Lego instructions are usually just like photos, so they don't have languages on it, so you can just take that and put it inside of the um, plastic baggie with all the Legos and if you really want you can cut out the front of this cardboard and also include it in there in literally it just like gets down to so little space like you do not need this entire kit you could it takes up like less than half this space probably so you can include these you can pick them up two dollars and fifty cents um I really want to include more scissors I didn't do as good of a job this year just because I don't know it seems like the scissors I found were all like a dollar each so these were one dollar um, I just grabbed it just so I have one but there's something I'm gonna keep an eye out for like the whole year until I turn in my shoe boxes next year to try to have enough scissors to include in all of mine I mean I'm just hoping to find them for like 50 cents but I just I don't know I felt like grabbing one and then this is a little kid Lego kit basically it has a little ducky, and I think this would be great for a two to four box. I really like puzzles and small things to work on their fine motor skills, and I just think that there aren't a lot of choices for young kids as far as like what you can include in a shoebox for fine motor skills, and I thought this was a great one, so I picked up one. It was $3, so it's a little bit more like expensive, but I just grabbed one of them. Next. I went to Old Navy. Now, I want to tell you that everything here I got for under $14. And, like, so some of the stuff was marked down, and then it was marked down again. And when I originally first got rang out, it came up to $28 or something because she used the first markdown prices. So I asked her, and then she, you know, realized her mistake, and then redid it, and it came, down, came up to $13. Or, like, 13 something. So the first thing I got was these pair of jelly shoes. I believe they're size 11 to fit into a 2 to 4 shoe box. And 
They were originally $14.99 and I got them for $2.49. I think, honestly, like when I was young, I literally loved jelly shoes. And I think they're kind of like coming back in style. And regardless of if they're in style or not, I think this is good for an Operation Christmas Child shoe box, especially because it's kind of like rainproof as well. So if they walk through water or something, like, you know, when you walk through water and you have waterproof shoes on, it dries off a lot faster than if you have regular shoes on and you have to deal with your foot being waterlogged all day. So I did, I was very happy to get these. I, I just like couldn't pass them up for $2.49. Now we all know Old Navy has flip flops and they usually have the one with like the foot thong thing in between your big toe and your other toe. So these ones are regular sliders and I do actually prefer these better just because like I don't know you can wear socks with it if you want and it's just like less annoying purse in my opinion anyway. So these were originally $8.99. I got them for $1.49. Uh, these I got a size 8. And then these I got a size, I think it said 4 to 5. So anyway, I think I got one that's a size 8 and one that's a size 7. I figured those would be good for the 10 to 14 shoe boxes. My one concern that I started thinking about is like, I don't know if people in other countries have like smaller feet because I kind of think that they do. Um, so I don't know if the American sizes I'm going by are like a completely appropriate. I mean, if anything, obviously like I'm getting bigger and with these kind of slide I feel like even if it's a little bit too big like it's okay so hopefully these work out for them and then the next thing I got were these t-shirts you can see the shark design on it they were 97 cents so I grabbed four of them they are a boys well they were in the boys section but I think that they're like kind of unisex I don't know they're size 14 16 so I figured I would probably put these in the 10 to 14 age shoe boxes. I just feel like you can't go wrong with this and it's like the athletic type of material. Additionally, if a shirt is bigger, I think that's perfectly okay for a shirt to be bigger. It's a lot better than like a pair of shorts being too big around your waist, you know? So I think these are going to be awesome additions to boxes probably next year. I grabbed four of them and that wasn't even all of them. They were just such a good price, I felt like I couldn't pass it up. Oh, and they were originally $19.99, but I guess it wasn't like a big seller for them this year because judging by the tags on here, it was marked down several times, but honestly, I think that they're cute. Then the last thing I got, and I kind of struggled with this decision, is some shorts. Now, Old Navy did have some other shorts that were $5.00 and they had an elastic band and a drawstring. Um, these were $2.49 for a pair of shorts that were originally $19.99. So what I ended up grabbing is two size 10s. They were in the boys section. It says built-in flex, and there's kind of something in here. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to end up including these in shoe boxes or if I'm just going to donate them locally just because they don't have a band and they don't have the drawstring and I feel like if it's the wrong size the kids aren't really going to be able to wear them. I guess if I put in a 5 to 9 box they can grow into it but just because the size is more specific I mean I kind of prefer just going with shirts because if it's too big that's fine, but shorts is kind of a different story. So I'll be deciding if I would like to include these in shoe boxes or just donate them locally. But anyway, so that's everything I got. So I got two pairs of shorts, four shirts, two pairs of flip flops, and then the girls pair of shoes for under $14. So I think that was a pretty good deal. I hope this was helpful. I hope you find some good deals locally as well. And let me know.